Hey everyone and welcome to another tutorial by me, Lord Padius, and uh, in the last one, what you would have seen is me teaching you how to join the multiplayer Project Zombie, uh, Zomboid uh, servers. Uh, in this one, what I'm going to do is teach you how to host your own server for other people to join. Uh, just a quick one just to let you know, I won't be going through how to whitelist people to get into your server, so be careful about who you give your IP address out to. Uh, I may uh, later on add in the description how to whitelist people, people once I figure it out myself. Uh, so first thing first, uh, I've broken each step down into obviously five steps. Um, the first one being in obtaining your IP. So what I want you to do is just go down to your start and in your search programs and files bar, uh, actually no, don't worry about that, go into command prompt, I apologize for that, and type in IP config. Um, once you've typed that in, uh, it should come up with this sort of screen. And look for IPv4 address, follow that along, and right there you will see your um, IP address. So what you want to do is copy that and just paste it into your uh, notepad for the time being. And then you can go ahead and close that down. Just close that properly. Oh, computer's being a bitch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's being a bitch. Okay. Right, so now what you want to do after that, once you've got that IP, uh, you want to go into Internet Explorer and you want to obtain the IP address that you'll be given to other people to join your server. So in Google or wherever, just type in my IP. And the first thing that comes up for me is this IP address here. Now this allows other people to connect to your network. So just copy that and stick that in Notepad. I don't know why my computer's been really slow at the moment. Right, okie dokie. Uh, so keep them two IPs separate, obviously, because uh, they both do different things. And then what you want to do is open a new tab, and in the address bar, you want to paste that IP that you just obtained, so the one you got off Google or wherever you may have got it, and just click enter. So what that will do is, hopefully, if it does it now, what that will do is bring you into your modem or router or whatever you may have, uh, and just type in your username and password and hopefully oh, I shouldn't have put a space in there and hopefully it should bring you into your whatever it is whatever root word that you have so once you've gone into that you want to navigate your way through depending on how your router works you want to navigate your way through to NAT NAT and then you should see somewhere in that region something along the lines of port mapping or more commonly known as port forwarding. So once you've got that just click on that tab and then this brings up um, all the different ports that you may have. Uh, so as you can see here I've got three different ports set up. These are all for my Project Zomboid server. Um, so what you want to do is basically have that number that you would have seen in the last tutorial 16261 which is the default Project Zomboid multiplayer port for communications and you want to make that um, you want to make that port so how do we do that we basically go to new so once you go to new you've got a completely new tab here and external port you want to put 16261 if that's correct yeah 16261 lovely and then in internal port you want to do the same thing 16261 <coughs> and in internal host what you want to do is put that first IP address that you uh, obtained, so the one that we went into uh, into um, uh, command prompt, that first one that you got, so it's that one there. So you want to put 192.168.13 or whatever your one is. Okay, so you just click that in there. So it's 192.168.13. And when you've done that, uh, don't worry too much about remote host, uh, and then you want to put the description of what your port is for. So obviously this one's for um, Project Zomboid, but this is my fourth port, so I'm going to put PZ4. Okay. Now, just to let you know, as far as I'm, as far as I know, I think you can only have up to 32 players in the server at the moment. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not too sure about that, but I think that's what it is at the moment. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to make 33 different ports in order to allow 32 players, or however many you want to join, as long as it's under 32. Always remembering that the first port, 16261, 
which will be the first port that you make, is dedicated to communication. So you wouldn't be able to, no one would be able to join if that's the only port that you've got. So you need to open up a second one. So what you'll do for the second one is in internal port and so on and so forth, just like here, everything's the same apart from this digit here, number two. So in the second one, you put 16262 instead of 16261, and the third one, 16263, and so on and so forth. Okay? And once you've done that, submit it, which I'm not going to submit it here because there's nothing in there, but submit it and it should come up. And once you've done that, you can also test your port, which I recommend is a good idea. Now, I use a uh, software called uh, PFP, uh, PF Port Checker. You just activate that and just put in a port. So let's put in my port uh, 16261. And what it does is it sends the tiniest little bit of data to that port. And if it can connect to it, then your port is open. So just type that in and press check me. And it's connecting to it. And bang, your external IP address is blah, blah, blah. Your port is open on this computer. Awesome. So they can connect to it, which means that other people should be able to as well. Right. So once you've done that, you want to open up the server for people to join. So what you want to do there is go to start computer, local disk C, down to program files 86, work your way down to Steam, Steam apps, common, and project zomboid. And once you're in project zomboid, you want to scroll down to this sort of area here, and you want to double click on project zomboid server. Now once you double click that, this little command prompt window will open up and it will start doing its magic. Give it a second to do so until at the very end it will say server started. It usually hovers around set an alarm on house or something like that, as you might see in a second. Uh, and then just after that it should say, yeah, there we go, buildings have alarms. And then server started. So now my server is open. Awesome. So, once your server is open, you want to give that second IP address, the one that you searched up in Google, to other players that you would like to join your server. And once you've done that, you just tell them to put that in the um, IP address of the server. And they should be connecting to your server. So let me just check if that's worked for me. Server started, it's open. Oh god, not this again. I'm having a real problem with um, get hurt starting from the, uh, the shortcut on my desktop. So let me just go down into... To back... work more... Jesus! Work my way back into... Um, my comments folder into Project Zomboid and down to there, blah blah blah, start in safe mode. And let's see what happens. Now, an uh, f what you need to do in order to connect to your server, other than the IP address that you give out to other players to join you, you need to put your internal, you know, I think you need to put your internal IP address into the address bar, uh, into the IP address bar of your game. So I'll show you how to do that now. It just launches for me. Sorry if I've been rambling on slightly, it's just uh, it's very late at the moment. I haven't had too much sleep. That time's not right, by the way. And hopefully all went well and my server's up. I mean, I tested it earlier with a couple of mates of mine and it seemed fine. So, right, let's have a look here. We go to my server and. There we go, 16261 is the normal port, and there's my IP address, not the one that you give out to everyone else, but your own internal one. Type that into this bar here, and join the server. And if all went well, it should start loading up, and you should be in your own server. So hopefully, I have been of some help to you. I'm probably not the best entertainer in the world, but uh, hopefully I did my job. That's the important thing. So let's just, you know, make 100% works. Um, what I found as well is when the server, when you close your server down and open it back up, it doesn't seem to wipe anything, which I'm quite happy about because I like a bit of consist consistency when I'm playing with my friends online. So hopefully the house that you should usually spawn in, there should be uh, zombies in it or fucking, uh, you know, the, alarm, uh, the doors and windows should be smashed. There we go. The doors open, windows smashed. All's good. So it's saved from the last time I played. Uh, I did die last time before I just joined now, so that's why I'm restarting at the uh, at the um, spawn house. But all seems good, give it a second to render. As you would have seen from my last video, Fraps really slows down my FPS on this game, so uh, 
yeah, uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you've got any questions that uh, uh, you're having any trouble or anything like that, feel free to comment below and I will do my best to help you. Uh, so I hope this was some help, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Peace out.